Hello everyone, welcome to my After Effects tutorial. Today we're going to create this. Open After Effects, go to the project panel, create a new composition. Change the composition name to May Render. Reset custom with 1920 height 10.8 and change the frame rate to 29.97 and set the duration time to 10 seconds or longer and click OK. Okay, today we're going to work with this folder called Tutorial and I will give you this comic text animation project file download link only in my Patreon page. Make sure to download the project file and don't forget to like, share, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Now let's start creating a new background. To do that, right click here, choose new solid. I'm going to copy this color code. Now go to the effects and preset, type gradient ramp. Choose gradient wrap, drag and draw on the solid layer. Now change the wrap shaper linear to radial ramp. Make sure to swap the colors. If you don't find this point, click on the effect and change the point direction to something like this. Now select the end color and paste the color code which we copied earlier. Now create a new composition. Change in composition name text placeholder. Make a composition size and click OK. And again create a new composition. This time change the composition name to only text. Make composition size and click OK. Now double click on the text composition, go to the toolbar menu, selling the T icon, create a new text. Type any text as you like, I am going to type as default hello. Change the font size to 250 and I am using Gotham Black font. You can download anywhere on the website, it's absolutely free. Now go to the text placeholder, selling the text score, drag and drop on the timeline. And go to the effects and preset, type fill. Drag and drop on the layer. Change the fill color to point. Now select the text crop layer. Right click, choose layer style, stroke. Now change the stroke position to outside and change the size to 10. And don't forget to change the color to white. Select the text composition layer. Hold Ctrl or Command D to duplicate the layer. Select the top layer. Press double time U button to open the properties. Select the layer style. Make sure to delete the layer style. And again select the top text composition layer. Right click. Now this time I'm going to choose layer style inner shadow. Now open the inner shadows. Change the opacity around to 45 degrees. Set the distance around to 6 and change the choke amount to 10%. Change the size amount to 6 and also change the noise amount to 2%. And also I'm going to change the color to something like turkish orange. Now select the bottom text layer, hold Ctrl or Command D to duplicate the layer and again I am going to select top two text layer, right click, choose pre-compose and don't forget to change the name also. Now select the bottom text layer, go to the effects and preset, type CC radial fast blur, drag and drop on the layer. Now change the blur amount to 10 and change the center of direction to something like this. Change the free color to orange. Feel free to use any color as you like. 
Now I'm going to copy this hex color code. Select the text composition layer. Press double type new button to open the properties. Now you can paste the stroke color. Now go to the main window, select the text placeholder composition, drag and drop on the timeline. Now let's give some drop shadows. To do that, go to the effects and preset, type drop shadows, drag and drop on the layer, and adjust a few settings. Change the direction amount to 180 degrees. Change the distance amount to maybe 45 or 35. And change the softness to 100 to 150. Finally, let's give some text animation for the text layer. To do that, open all text layer. Select the text layer. Open the properties. Animate. Add scale. And again, add rotation. Now, create a keyframe on scale and rotation property. Move the keyframe somewhere like 2 seconds. At first frame, change the rotation amount to 180 degrees and change the scale amount to 0. Select all keyframes, press F9 to easy ease. Open the graph editor. If you don't find this edit speed graph, right click here and choose edit speed graph. Now you can tweak the graph to something like this. I hope you all enjoyed my After Effects tutorial and don't forget to give a like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel. See you on next After Effects tutorial. Stay tuned. Thank you.